Hello everybody, I am going to do a quick video on how to use the Zwift mobile app. So as you can see I've got it up here uh, with Zwift uh, in the background um, but I'll just show you quickly. The first thing you need to do is go to the app store. So I'm just running through uh, what comes up when you type in, ooh, where's it gone? There we go. Right, so when you type in Zwift into the app store uh, search bar you come up with two options. The top one here where it just says Zwift is the actual Zwift iOS program where you can um, connect to the app via your trainer or turbo and then that will allow you to actually Zwift uh, wherever you are as long as you've got some internet connection uh, or 3G connection. And then below it, you've got Zwift Mobile Link, which is the app which allows you to communicate with your avatar as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network. So that's the one that we're going to be looking at. And once you've downloaded it, you just open it up, you've got some options there. So the top left one where it says Ride, that is also if you're not connected to your um, app whilst, uh, well, to your Zwift computer uh, via a Wi-Fi network, then it will come up saying sneak peek and all you can do is just look at people's, uh, you can basically just look at this feed here, which shows, uh, not that feed, if you go, it basically shows you this um, screen here, but the reason you know when you're connected to the Wi-Fi network is this, there's this little uh, sort of icon up at the top which shows that you're connected via Wi-Fi network. So we'll just go back out of that. So the first thing to look at is your profile. So if you pull up your profile you can see all of your uh, information and it allows you to understand what you've done over the course of your time on Zwift over the last 30 days, the last seven days. So if you're not doing anything like me, if you haven't been on your profile for a long time and you haven't seen um, any kind of action then it looks like this. So when I'm coaching you I'll be able to see your different profiles as well uh, as we just saw before. I can look into the activity feed or I can go to um, people that I follow and I can look at somebody so let's take Russ Downing from JLT Condor I can see what they're doing over the, la over the course of the time they've been on Swift over the last seven days and depending on what your goals are and what we're looking to achieve, I can be, I can kind of give you direction and say, right, well, we're not doing enough. We're not going to be able to reach our goals. So I can actually start coaching you um, live instead of using a whole bunch of various different apps and stuff. So that's the profile. Really good place to just understand what, um, what you're doing, why you're doing it. And then you can also see your own activities as well. Then if, uh, like I said before, if we go into feed, it just gives you an idea of what the people uh, that you follow are doing. Um, see if you're doing any better, any worse. You can also search for people. So um, who was I searching for? So let's try Alberto Contador. So as you can see here, this is you can actually search for people. So you can search for me under Graham Dawson. Uh, there are I have a couple of profiles, so I'll add all of them. Um, but uh, the main one that I'll use, I'll, I'll add you back. And <clears throat> what you can do is you just click on the link, and you can see what people do, and you can add them by clicking the icon over here. And if they're a favourite, then you just tap on that button. And they will go into your favorites. You can also search via Strava as well. So any friends that you have linked in to your Strava, you can connect your Strava through the online uh, profile. So you have to log on online to do that. Then you've got events down here. This, this is um, Zwift and a couple of different sort of companies run various different events on Zwift. So whether that's just um, training rides or races or... Um, group rides, then they've got all sorts of stuff on here. And all you have to do is click on something that you're interested in, click on the plus button, and the event will be logged. And then if when you're actually on Zwift, it will come up with, an, with a warning saying that 
um, they are going to um, start the, the, the event and it will take you directly to that event should you want to do it. Uh, I'm just going to press that again so I'm not going to do it. <coughs> and it just gives you a bunch of information on what it is, who's able to do it, what kind of category riding is allowed, who the ride leader is, and who all the people are that have signed up to do it as well. So you can check all those guys out. And if you want any more information, then you can click on that link down there. But that's essentially the events. The events is a great way to kind of socialize. And they also, I know Team ODZ have a Discord link as well. So you can look that up as well. So you can talk to people. Then you've got your settings down here. So this is where you can actually go in and change your information. Um, any types uh, you can you can uh, allow for group messaging or private messaging. Uh, you can show what type of um, kind of uh, information you'd like to receive, any kind of notifications, that kind of stuff. So this is a good little place to to do stuff. So let's get into the really good bit. So this is the fun bit, the ride. So when you click on that, it comes up with your profile. So when you're actually riding, if I was able to ride. Uh, I would be able to see um, uh, all the information that, oh man, I keep getting notifications. Um, I can see all the information that comes out, some speed, distance, hours, cadence, all that kind of stuff as well. So as you can see there, I'm starting to get no group notifications through from, uh, from that event that's just about to happen, which is kind of annoying. Um, down the bottom of this profile, you've got a, a blue button. And if you were to hold that down, what it essentially does when you're on the move is uh, it, you have to hold that down. You have to power it up essentially, because it wants to know that you definitely want to make that choice. Um, it will allow you to do a U-turn. If you hold down the stop button, it will come up saying, um, that you're done riding and it will save your information. So that's going to pump it towards Strava uh, and into the cloud system, but I don't want to do that. So I've just pressed the cross at the top. <clears throat> so then you come onto this and you can do some social stuff. So I can't, the, there's only one thing that I can show you uh, how it works, but when you're connected via the Wi Fi network, you can actually interact with your avatar. So the only way I can show you on here is by just switching my view and showing you that I'm not pressing anything other than the buttons on the app and it changes the view. So you can also take snapshots. So that's just taken a, a, a screenshot essentially and then you can put that on Facebook. If you see something funny or do something funny then uh, then you can put those up and, and show them around. So then you've got all these other things. So group text actually I can show you so I can type um, a little message to everyone. And you'll see that it pops up over there on the right hand side. There you go. So as you can see, you can do that. But you can also uh, individually message people as well. So this is where, um, this is the list of all people around me. I don't have anyone online that I follow at the moment. Um, but what you can do is so, who's this guy? Jay Leno. So let's try this guy. The guy right in front of me, I can see his view. Or I can see, go back to my view. So I can actually text him. And send him a personal message. Whether he responds, I don't know. And then I can give him a ride on. As you can see, it peers above his head. So this is, this is all of us. Um, this is it, the whole system interacting, and, and this is where it becomes really social and good fun um, to react to, to to ride and train with other people. So, similar to what um, our studio gives, this just gives you that online kind of interaction uh, and that social edge to your training. So, we'll be adding in training profile, uh, training uh, plans, and be sending you those out, and also. Um, getting you onto Discord as well. So if you haven't seen those videos, 
then head over to uh, those and, and check them out so that you get fully prepped up for Zwift and your training online. So hopefully that's given you a, a nice indication of what to do on the app and how it works with the system. We'll see you soon.